If you're a fellow crafting fanatic and tired of the post-holiday mess, then you'll love this video. We all know the craft room is the wildest, most creative corner of the house. Let's get it back to sparkly perfection. Welcome to the Chic Show. Okay, so let's start with the before snapshot. First on my to-do list, say goodbye to the dated china cabinet and hello to a fresher look for my space. Luckily, I scored two sleek white cabinets for $299 from Lowe's and snagged three open shelves from Target's back to school sale at just $60 a pop. Here's a peek at how I spruced them up for the cozy Christmas season. Are you ready for today's playlist? Get ready to jam with Tammy from The Rusted Willow and Lisa from Our Gray House. Don't miss out on the chance to explore their channels. The description box below holds the key to a treasure trove of brilliant creators with their own nifty tricks for organizing your crafty haven. Get ready to be dazzled. These two cabinets are overstuffed with items being crammed in haphazardly. It's time to regain control and organize the contents a little more purposely. So I'm going to go through all of these things and I'm going to put like pieces together. So rectangle pieces, short square pieces, box frames, that sort of thing. The end product is not perfect, but it is more organized when searching for something. utilized all available spaces for storage by adding some of these Dollar Tree utility racks that I've cut in half and then used a toilet plunger dowel rod for hanging. I've also used some S hooks there to hang all of my wood signs. I've added some command hooks in other places to hold various items like poster boards, stickers, and stencils even a few previous projects. I also use the top of the cabinets for floral storage, but I'm working on a different solution for these. I admittedly have a bit of a container addiction. I do prefer grouping similar items together in corresponding containers. Here I'm transferring glass pieces into identical glass jars. Here's a look at my shelves and how I have them organized. I used some of the white bins from Dollar Tree on the bottom of the shelves to mimic drawers. it's time to tackle my pegboard and the space below it. If you peek down, you'll see an avalanche of stuff. I found these cans on clearance at Dollar General and now I'm excited to give them a makeover. With a coat of spray paint, they'll look as good as new and fit into my colorful space. My pegboard holds most of my stickers and other products that hang easily. The shelves below hold thrifted items, fabric, and vinyl. I found this little white pocket organizer in the garden section on clearance at Michael's. I actually picked up two of these. I 
secured Dollar Tree pegboards to my cart using zip ties and I utilized hooks to wrangle all the cords. The rolling cart not only holds my hot tools, but also projects I'm working on. I can just wheel it over to my workspace when I need it. Clear bins holding paint came from Target. The dresser underneath holds all of my ribbon. My silhouette cameo is located on this makeshift shelf. This is my gallery wall, but I'm going to be changing this up a bit in the Kalina Palooza coming up January 26th. I also am using my mother-in-law's beautiful vanity as my desk. Moving on to my ultimate craft table. I bought this table at Goodwill for $35. It's perfect for keeping all of my frequently used craft items nearby. Let's not forget the storage underneath the table either. An additional shelf holds the cans I painted as well as some Dollar Tree bins. My husband installed some hooks on this end to hold my craft paper. More Dollar Tree peg boards keep my scissors within reach and my stool and trash can store nicely under the table. Here's a final look at the most fun room in my house, the space that makes my heart skip a beat and makes my troubles melt like lemon drops. Huge round of applause to Tammy and Lisa for being the ultimate hosts and to all the creative geniuses who joined in on this collaboration. Fingers crossed that you discovered some fresh ideas, nifty tricks, and a jolt of inspiration to transform your own space into a masterpiece. If you did find some inspiration, let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, give that thumbs up button a high five and spread the inspiration by sharing and subscribing for more. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, share the chic. Bye now.